Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. As always, I hope it gets better for you if not. So today, quick video for you guys. I wanted to show you guys how I create a marsh from an unusual floating plant. One that some may not know of, some of you guys may know of, but this is another way to use it as well to really create something cool within your aquarium. And I also am planning on making like a top 10 unusual floating plants video which will actually be like a top 21 anyways that will come out here soon after this but let's get to this all right so in the main office here i've got this 30 gallon over here where i've actually got a ton of ratio this is also known as crystal wort floating up on the top of it but here you can see what i've done with it with the lymphophilia aromatica which is really green when it grows immersed you can see some of the leaves are starting to brown. It's getting dry with the uh, drier air and the seasons around here where I live. This is looking really good. Now when the wind blows on it, it doesn't help with the leaves, but you can see where it's created this nice little marsh coverage over the tank. And the root coverage is absolutely phenomenal, which would be amazing for breeding all sorts of fish. I am keeping a lot of inlers in here right now, mostly males. There's a few females because I thought it'd be cool to maybe get some babies. But I've got this Ferrogenia crypt down here, which is the silver purple queen. So these leaves, they'll get like this tiger color and then like a purple and pink kind of sheen. And I really want to bring that out of this. So I am showing you this video before I tear this down. So I'm going to have to pull all this out to get the light down in there. But I wanted to share with you guys how I created this marsh in this tank with the lymph nephilia. So pretty much with the Rhesia is it'll naturally float and grow like this. So you just stick it in a tank. There you can see it from the bottom view about how thick it gets. It can get thicker. Uh, granted, you give it CO2, it'll really get thick. It loves CO2. The pearling, the bubbles, that's why they call it crystal wort is because when you do add CO2 to this stuff, it holds a ton of bubbles and it just looks like there's crystals all over it. But you can keep it without CO2. These are no filter, no oxygen line, no CO2, and it will grow without it. But what I'll do is see how it just grows as like a media. It's like a sponge. So you can take those stems, pretty much any stem, Anubias, Buches, Lymphnophilias, uh, Rotaias, Luigias, all types of stems. And you just plug them in there, boom, 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 and you can create a marsh with it. Really cool, really easy. And uh, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys in case you guys wanted to try something new. That's what you can do. And as far as the water parameters for this plant, as long as you're keeping it like you are your fish within the 70s and even up in the 80s, it does not mind either hard or soft water. Now it doesn't like really, 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 really hard water. Like you start getting into the 500 plus, it may be harder to grow the reishi on it. But besides that, it will pretty much grow on anything. And you can grow it under the water, but it grows dark green. And it can get stringy. It doesn't look as good underneath the water. Which actually, I've got some right there. It's hard to see in the middle. Granted, it didn't have much light. The zoom is not the best. Wow, that looks really crazy. It almost looks like it's colored in. Look at that. Like a drawing. With the zigzag leaves of the uh, needle leaf fern here. That's how it grows underneath the water. I'm not a big fan of it. Especially when you can use like a moss or something like this. Or this. Or this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you could hit that like button for the algorithm, that would be awesome of you. Much appreciated. And hope you, some of you guys learned something and can maybe use this in your aquarium adventures. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys all watching. Until next time, everybody. Peace. Have a great one.